time that you never uh, you gave me a hard time by trying never. to talk ahead of time. So. Uh, does that sound for everybody? <laughs> uh, maybe. Um, so uh, Wallace is organized into committees, and so we have uh, board members who lead committees, and we're going to have Tom Potter. No, I'm not going to have Tom Potter. Yeah, first, we have Phil Hummer talk about outings. So Phil is our outings um, committee chair, and the great thing about uh, Phil is that Phil is a logistics guy. That's what he does for a living. So when we're going to go on an outing, Phil has us ready. He knows what time we're going to be there, how long it takes to drive to the next place, how long it'll take us to get our boats in and out of the water. Um, and unless there's a laggard like me, which there always is, things go very, hello, and Tom, uh, things go very smoothly on our outings. So Phil, talk to us about outings. Thank you, Gretchen. And I'm not good at this, but I'll do the best I can, okay? <laughs> I'm not normally ever speaking in front of folks. So uh, my name is Phil Hubbard, and I'm the Outings Committee Chair. And my committee gets to do all the fun stuff, which is, which is a good thing. Um, Wallace Watershed Coalition is an advocacy group, and we are the Suwannee River Keeper, the protectors of our waters. We use paddle trips or outings as a fun way to expose people to what we do or may look at it as it's a reward for what we have done. I became involved with walls uh, very early last year and I wanted to kayak but I didn't know where to go. I had, I had a kayak for several months but I was just clueless as to where I could go. I'm not an avid outdoorsman. I don't fish. I've never owned a boat. And I didn't even know where the Alapaha was, let alone the uniqueness of the Alapaha sink. All I knew was that I enjoyed my new toy. So I stumbled upon someone totally by accident one day, and they told me that there was a Facebook group that was actually into kayaking. Who would have thought? Facebook with something useful. <laughs> so this led me to find Walls. And after exploring the Walls website, I found a wealth of information. We have a lot of items on the Walls website. It's walls.net, by the way. And <clears throat> so for now, and after many outings, I've quickly become an expert, I suppose. <laughs> so did you know that Valdosta is the largest city on the largest river that feeds into the Suwannee River Basin? And did you know what shoals are? I was found out doing some research for this. I've been misspelling it for about a year. <laughs> so, I didn't uh, say anything. <laughs> okay. But prior to that, I didn't know what shoals were. Did you know that near White Springs, there are Class Three rapids during part of the year? Did you know that sometimes of the year, the Alapaha completely disappears underground and resurfaces down the Suwannee River some 20 miles away? You ever heard of McIntyre Springs? Did you know there are gauges in the river to give you real-time data on the levels and flows of the rivers? And by the way, there's an app for that. <clears throat> in late fall, in the winter, early spring, we tend to paddle in stretches more local to the Valdosta, the surrounding area, because these rivers up here are, are full and have good flow of water. In the warm months, the Georgia rivers are too low, and we move down to do some of the Florida rivers. Two weeks ago, we paddled one of the most secluded and beautiful parts of the Suwannee River. I tell you, that's just, there's just nothing like that trip we did last, two weeks ago. It was a really great trip. Got a little tiring, it's a little long, but it was a beautiful trip. I very much enjoyed that one. Coming up in April, we're doing the fifth annual Big Little River Paddle Race. You know us guys, if it'll move, we'll figure out some way to race it. So in May, <clears throat> 
we will paddle one of the most beautiful parts of the Suwannee River. In June, we're going to do some of the with Lacucci, and down the lower part of the Suwannee. All these are just really neat stretches of river to go on. This past weekend, I paddled through what's called the Metro Hooch on the Chattahoochee in, the, in Atlanta. It's kind of unique to actually paddle through Atlanta, but uh, they don't have anything on our rivers. <laughs> As far as scenic, the only thing I can say is there's obviously they spend more money on the ramps up there, so we need to we need to solicit for some money to improve, make our ramps nice like they are on the Chattahoochee. After experiencing some of the things on one of our paddle trips, you will understand why our rivers, our carnivorous limestone structure and environment are so fragile and important and why we have sinkholes. You'll also understand why this pipeline is not a real smart idea. So I invite you to join us on one of our outings. Few things can match a slow, leisurely trip down a river experiencing nature. I promise you, the only reason that you'll want to post, post on Facebook while on the river is to make the rest of your friends envious. <laughs> so come join us on some of our trips sometimes. You'll, you'll really enjoy it. Thank you all very much. Thank you.